Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the Mysterious JG. And we are, um... We are once again at the beck and call of the evil Officer Tenpenny. Um, he, he's pretty much a scumbag. And he wants us to meet him at... Los Castle dos Diablos. The finest piece of horse He wants us to meet him at the Castle of the Devil. El Castillo del Diablo. Where it seems unlikely that uh, he wants us to do something good and fun that we will all enjoy together as friends. Seems like he's going to want us to kill somebody or something. So let's uh, let's find out what he wants. Whether we like it or not, we got to do it. A, story-wise, it's because he um, he's a corrupt cop who is, you know... Well, for a long time, it was that he would arrest us. Um, although, certainly, we've avoided the cops before. But I think now it's more like he will... They will, you know, arrange uh, an accident to kill Sweet in prison. and uh, Or move him to a cell ten feet below the jail, as they say. But, uh, yeah, to me, that they, they're doing that same storyline with... Uh, what's his name? The James Woods character. So... And the James Woods character is knows about Tenpenny and Pulaski because he's actually talk, told us about how, yeah, Fernandez or whatever his name is, yeah, those guys killed him. <laughs> but they're benign compared to the guys I'm after. It's like, you know, whatever. But at the same time, have we already been to this place? Didn't we have a mission that started here for the James Wood guy I'm, I'm actually talking about? Either way, it's nice to come to the El Castillo del Diablo while listen to them bones. And once again, I'm putting down the um, that map marker where I'm already have a map marker for the mission. So what the hell, JG? <laughs> High Noon's a very good movie, by the way. Well, it's an interesting. It's it's a good movie, but it's an interesting movie too, from like a film history perspective. Carl, hope we didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier, hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie. Ah, our boy's done good. I, oh, Eddie. Oh. I thought they had already betrayed him. I guess not. You bato asshole! You sold us out. I guess he mentioned that they Time to dig, Carl. were working against him. You I thought he told us they'd him. killed him. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. That doesn't sound good. So we're, oh, okay, so we're supposed to bury a dead cop. But we watched them kill him. I don't like this. To be honest, I don't right, remember this. That's good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie Tampenny's just using you. He's using all of us. You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! Guess he wasn't dead. Oh, of course, a cinematic means he escapes from us. Probably I should have just shot him. Probably had some kind of, like, being shot immunity, though. Okay, so I don't want to roll this thing because I'm in some kind of race with Pulaski now. Yeah, I need to flip this car. Damn it. Every time I wanted to get rid of you, he'd find some excuse to keep you alive. Well, now it's up to me, and I ain't such a fucking soft touch. So how's your sister? I always had a thing for her. Tim and I got some great shots of her and her burial boyfriend going at it like a couple of horny chihuahuas. Man, just keep put out like a pro. Screw you, Pulaski. I know. 
know what you're trying to do, and you ain't gonna crawl inside my head. I had a kid. The best thing that I ever done. Kyle, you should have seen your mama's before she was buried. She was a real mess. Most of her face was hanging off. Don't fucking talk about my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up, man. So I had a chance to flip him on his side, and I uh, flip him over, and I missed it. And I'm a little sick about it, because that would have been a pretty cool way to, to end this. But, oh, don't flip myself now after I failed to flip him. We would have missed that great dialogue with him uh, talking about our dead mom, though. Yeah, they don't really go out of their way to make you like this guy. There's been little hints here and there that he's racist, too, but they didn't do anything with that. Well, I guess he just... Didn't he just get done calling uh, Cesar something racist, so... All right. Man, he's driving like he's on a rail there for a while, but eventually he hit a car that spun. Yeah, he, he, they're giving us little, like, in case you were, had emotional conflict about killing a cop, they're making it pretty clear this guy needs to die. <laughs> well, this threw a little <laughs> in there, okay. Fuck! I don't want to blow this, I want to kill him on the first try. Like, officer, I need you. <laughs> like, he should have been able to telepathically communicate with that guy that he's a police officer. Uh, had an attempted murder that went, went south. Can you help me? Okay, I guess the cops cared that I finally... They finally cared that I busted out a submachine gun and went to town in front of them. I really don't want to be in a situation where I have to... Although he appears to be just stuck driving around this block, so maybe it'll all work out. I'm thinking I should have grabbed that motorbike. Because then I could just get behind him and just shoot straight ahead. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, I was just saying I wanted a motorbike. I don't know how far away he can get before I get game over here. Or, not game over, just fail the mission. Oh, listen to some cop music, huh? Redneck shit. Oh, there's a donut place here. No wonder he, fl he fled here. His cop instincts kicked in. Oh, and he came right back to this, uh, this zone uh, that is uh, his home, apparently. I guess this is where the AI gravitates to for this mission when there's no particular reason to go anywhere else. It's a Wayfair. It's not exactly a high-performance bike, but still, it's easier to shoot guys in this game on a bike than anything else in these chase missions. I misturned there. He didn't turn the way I thought he was. Yes, it's gotten real confusing. But that's it. After we have a love one more time, I'm saying goodbye to you. Oh, fuck, this is one of the songs that I definitely can't listen to. I specifically remember having to trim that shit out. Because there's a whole video of me singing along with it, and the, uh, the background <laughs> uh, game sound is, like, gone. I was about to trade bikes, but that's another Wayfarer, so it wouldn't help at all. Damn it! No! Okay, thank you for getting stuck there. That helps. How much ammo have I got? Well, I got plenty. Those pickups outside of the casino are super generous. And it's powering up my machine gun skills. Me 
Maybe I'm not hitting him as much as I thought I would be with uh, this approach. Get this other bikers out of the way. <laughs> nope. I just got a police star out of it. I didn't actually get rid of the bike. I got the person riding bitch and police attention. Well, I don't seem to be lo or he doesn't seem to be losing me anyway. Fuck. Fuck. Pull it together. Ah, that must have scared him. From his perspective, I just dropped in out of nowhere. If you're doing well out there, you may remember a little band called Crystal Ship, and you may remember a devilishly handsome lead singer who got all the chicks. Now I'm on the radio and loving every minute of it, keeping the spirit of rock alive while some assholes in plaid shirts whine about how miserable they are. I could not agree more. You're very miserable. Go you away. suck, Wood. You know what Tommy Nightmare Smith will have on his gravestone when he dies? I got run I'm thinking it's probably impossible to kill him before he gets on them. Oh, fuck. This could be a real disaster. Could lose him here real easy in this, uh... Fuck. Fuck. It's happening. It's happening. Get up there, JG. Oh, that was a godsend for me. I'm assuming his doors are locked and I can't jack the car with him in it, but... Where is he going? We're both confused at this point. Okay, he's finally picked a direction. He's driving backwards up this thing, but he got away with it. So if I can do the same. I'm going to spend this whole video on this mission, aren't I? Yeah, but he's had it coming for a long time. This is going to be a fun kill. Okay. Wow, it's a good thing we had all that armor. Not feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end. Punk motherfucker. Well, we didn't even get respect. Oh, come on. We should have got respect. Anyway, yeah. Woo. Glad there's a chicken restaurant nearby <laughs> to celebrate. But, uh, no, boy, it's a good thing we had all that armor because uh, we ended up right next to him. And he had a... I think he had the combat shotgun or something. We didn't get knocked down. So maybe it wasn't the combat shotgun, but damn... He melted our health. I would be in a. I would be not happy if uh, we did all that chasing and then at the end he freaking killed us. All right, I know we don't have full health, but we're gonna we're gonna save. This was more like I don't want to run into some nonsense where I lose. I'm only at half health and I die before we can get to a save. Oh, here we go. Story's gonna advance. Well, we didn't have another story mission, so. Hello. You hung us up to dry. I know it. Rosenberg? Yeah, soon to be wearing concrete shoes in a shallow grave in the desert, Rosenberg. I'm surprised you remember. Look, I ain't forgot y'all, man. Just hang in there. Easy for you to say this help. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to... I was trying to grab the motorbike. I didn't mean to cut off the, uh, the dialogue. Well, they'll either give it... No, they won't. I thought he might call back and we could get the dialogue again, but I do not believe it's going to work that way. Fuck. Please don't kill me, officer, by running me over like that guy tried to. Okay. I guess he could tell I don't own a motorcycle this nice. Racist. No, uh, I mean, he couldn't have seen us uh, committing the murder that we committed to get this motorcycle, so uh, I call he's just a jerk. Who doesn't believe that we uh, could possibly own such a nice motorcycle? Okay, let's take a stupid, unnecessary risk and uh, ride along the railroad track to get to the ammunition. I guess I could be smart and like ride along next to the railroad track without actually being on it to avoid getting run over by a train. <laughs> but the railroad track leads exactly to where we want to go, which is why I'm trying to just kind of follow it. And in a car, we'd probably survive. On a motorbike, it's real likely I'll get killed if we're hit by a motorcycle. I mean, a um, 
refrain, so... We've used this ammunition quite a few times, actually. It has been a sort of a centrally located useful ammunition for us. All right, but Officer Pulowski, who uh, was a racist asshole who kept talking smack about how our mom's body was a gross mess and how he wants to nail our sister, we finally killed his punk ass. And he was, indeed, as CJ pointed out himself, a punk ass motherfucker. So yeah, we took him out, and um, this game doesn't have tooled up. You can't go buy, like, hammers, and I don't know where you're supposed to get brass knucks in this game. There's no official place to get those in uh, Vice City that I can remember either. Anyway, all right, Rosenberg will be at the Caligula, so let's head for the Pirates of Men's Pants. Because I don't think we have another story mission to do. So the story missions get a bit kind of disconnected at this point. There's a few story threads going on at once that don't have anything to do with each other, but they but you have to complete such and such mission. The next thing you do for Rosenberg won't unlock until, you know, you've done the last thing for Crash, even though they're not connected. I guess it worked like that at the beginning of the game, too. I don't know why I'm acting like this is new. And I saw some hookers. We haven't seen hookers in a while in this game. Oh, you know what? I, sh I should... I should have said yes to that, actually. But I think we've moved too far away. So it would have given me back a little bit of health that I'm missing. Nice to turn off the radio. I'm sick of worrying about where I'm going to get copyright strikes. Um, got a little less than half of a video to go, so let's just get to the save point and see if we can quick do a mission or at least get a start on one. I believe I am going to call it an evening and pick this up tomorrow, but. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, be doing this game before I start in on a major recording of any other series, so... Whatever, thinking out loud about where I want to be at the end of this video, and the answer is... Yeah, it doesn't matter, I can just pause the game and pick it up tomorrow. I won't sing and dance, I won't sing and dance, I won't be a pirate in the pirate of my dance, with me silver buckle slippers and me bright shiny pants, I won't sing and dance, say so, yeah. Is that a Ray Stevens song? I think it's a Ray Stevens song. Hello. I used to listen to Ray Stevens music when I was a little kid, uh, dad would play it in the car, and um, some of those songs, parody songs, some of them have aged better than others. Ahab the Arab, for example. It was, it was I thought it was funny when I was a kid and Actually the title is probably the most offensive part of the song. Although, you know what, I haven't thought I haven't heard the lyrics in a long time. But yeah, that's an example of the one that um didn't work so good anymore. Ray Stevens, one of those um, sort of southern Caucasian musicians who, I don't think he had a malicious bone in his body, but some of them songs, singing about them funny people in funny foreign lands, eh, they don't work so good now. I don't think I don't think the man hates anyone, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, he uh, he had a white southern audience in mind. Turn in your ring and your tie tack, because you are out of the shrine. Alright, let's see what Ken wants now. 
I don't remember Ray Stevens having any uh, hilarious songs about Jewish people, so that's good. But, you know, Ken. Nope. Nope. See, Mark's... Ah, see, this one I think I remember. Just feel the weight of the weapon, sweetheart. <laughs> I can feel the weight of someone's weapon. Hey, Ooh. you don't want to blame on that front. Can I fucking... Women are responsible for fuck? men's sexual avarices. Ooh, you fucking twat! Right in the fucking happy sack! Apparently he felt that. Perhaps you'll be cured of your little anti-social condition, mate. Carl, my man. Mr. Leon. My dog. Like oh, he actually remember right. who he is. You did a real number on those Ferelli losers. And then you took a little now break to go deal Ferelli with some cops. But what it means to screw with Salvatore Leon. It means I like send a rando I just met show. after them. A hit in Liberty City? Cool. But I'm gonna need some backup. Take who you want. I want Rosenberg. But I usually use these two. What? Hey, hey, remember all those jobs we did together? Huh? Huh? You and me, Carl, remember? Huh? You know, you used to call me Killer Ken. Ken the Killer? Killer? Ice Cold Ken. And him too, I guess. Why would he bring those three along? And Leo, Salvatore doesn't even like respond other than shrugging. I remember the concept oh, of the mission more than the contents. Ah. Fast. What about your backup, man? Will you be all right without us? Of yeah. course he will, you fucking moron! Come on! This is him getting them out alive. Okay, I like it. He's being he's being a, a really good dude to these guys. We haven't done that much to earn it. But yeah, like the idea is he goes and does this hit. He says he's bringing them, but he's really going to do it alone. Um, and that way they can be presumed to have died in the hit. It's actually, he's he's going... He's going out of his way to be nice to these guys. But again, I think we're supposed to like those characters, even if they were super annoying and dumb. Um, and therefore, if CJ was involved in killing them, we would like CJ less? Theoretically. She had brains and lived in New York City. So she had to be on the lookout for the deadly zombies of New York City. They would try to eat her brains for sustenance. That's the end of the runway. Get in it and fly to New York City or Liberty City. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was just listening to a song about New York City, and I want a mission going to Liberty City. So yeah, there's a mission set in Liberty City. Before you get too excited, we are not going to have free roam wandering around a, you know, a map from GTA 3. At least not a full size one. This is kind of a standalone mission that is supposed to be set in Liberty City. So am I meant to actually fly this thing? Because can I just be a passenger? No, I gotta fly. Yeah, well. At least that means I get to pick the radio station. I guess this video is either going long or I'm pausing in the middle because uh, uh, we got to fly from uh, California to New York during this mission, so it might take a minute. I'm assuming there is a corona that when we hit it, it means that we've, you know, segue into whatever the hell the mission is supposed to be. Yeah, that's that is something you guys need to remember. Uh, what we were just hearing in those lyrics. If you fucking with Dre, you are fucking with Death Row. I think we all need to know that in our day-to-day -day lives. 
Now, in fairness, Dr. Dre has not, not done quite as much, like, s fun, silly, PG-rated things recently as uh, Snoop Dogg has. But it is kind of fun to go back and listen to the stuff that got them started. Considering what they're kind of famous for now. Are we going to fucking just segue out of this? Okay. I guess it didn't matter I was at the wrong altitude, but... St. Mark's. Well, this is... Yeah. I guess it's in winter, but this is the GTA 3 location, more or less recreated. Might turn out that this was the place before it was the Leon family owned it. Okay, so we come in with a chainsaw. I like it. it. Doesn't seem like using a chainsaw is that smart. No, it definitely isn't. Okay. So they start you with a chainsaw, which is funny and all, but what the fuck? <laughs> really? Well, all my armor's gone. No, oh, but you know, I gotta go all the way. Again, it, it, it rarely does there seem to be a point to not loading in this game, unless your last save was really far away from where a mission started. But no, he, he starts with a chainsaw. I love the idea of using a chainsaw, but there's like five guys with guns. It can't possibly be the right way to do the mission. But anyway, it's certainly given us a good... Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to load. What did we just do last? Uh, high noon, right? Yeah. So I'm going to load, but uh, we're going to call it a video because they, they just handed it to me a silly death right at the end, close to the end of the running length of the video. So once we leave the Pirates and Men's Pants here. We will be well positioned to reinitiate this. It will be annoying to have to go through because it just it just takes forever to fly off the edge of the map. Like why? Why put us through that? Why not just they could cut straight from the conversation with with uh, the Salvatore to a shot of us in a well no, we we'd have to have that sequence of us talking to to Kent Paul and Ken Rosenberg and whoever the other guy is from Love Fist. We could cut straight from that to a shot of us, like just a, a sequence of us getting on a plane as like cinematic story material. Why make us go with no in-game challenge to it? It's just eating time to fly all the way across the map. Whatever. <sighs> I tend to give complain more about really good games when they make mistakes than like I'll just let stuff go in a game that isn't really all that good. Anyway, when we come back next time, guys, we will be taking another crack at that mission because I think that's going to push us we're starting to get really close to the uh, where the main story starts to head into the final act. Um, and so at some point I'm going to have to slow up and let people get caught up to the point where they can answer. I don't know how many people are really closely following the series as it goes live, but uh, it'll give people a chance to say whether they want to see these uh, bank robbery missions before or after we've completed the main thrust of the story. But uh, whatever, we're going to do St. Mark's Bistro next time. And I hope you guys are here for it.